Hello everyone, welcome to the interaction system. So in this video I'll go through each of the different interactions and then I'll also end the video with the demonstration at the end. So the first one is the bridge. So you come to the bridge and you click it, you got this 3D widget. You can move this to where you'd like the bridge to move to. And then you can click preview bridge and it'll show you where the bridge will go to in game. And this will save you from having to go in game to test it each time. And then it next is the doors. So we've got three types of doors. This one can be activated by a button, a trigger door, and then we've also got another door that requires you to collect the key first. So you'll be able to select the key and then position it in the world. And then next we've got the elevator. So similar to the bridge, you've got the 3D widget. You can move it where you like. And you can also go to the side and up and down and you pretty much put it in any direction. And you could also change the rotation. So I've got it to 180 here. So now if I click preview move lock, see so it'll move to that location, do the 180 spin, and then reset location, it'll be the reverse. So the POI, this green box won't be visible by default, and what it'll do is when you activate it, it'll then become visible. So this could be used for, if you need to nav like help navigate the player towards a certain location. And the next one's the teleporter, so again, you got the 3D widget. You just step on it and the character will be teleported to that location and then we've got the notification so this can be activated in two ways it can either be activated through a trigger or in this case it can be a button if i step on this button you'll see you'll get the little notification that will pop up and then it'll fade off and you can put your text here and then you can either uncheck this box or leave it checked and if you uncheck it um, then it means that it's not being activated by a button so it will keep the trigger box, but if it is being activated by this button, then this box collision will be destroyed on begin play. And then the last one is signs. So you've got, click on the sign, you can do the text and size and colour of the text itself. And you could also adjust the size of the sign, as well as the sign colour. And if it's a miss fauna, and if so, how much it does it go. So now we can go into the demonstration part of the video. So now with this button, see it's connected to three different things so it's connected to this door the POI which is this one over there and the notification which is this one so if I now go in game step on this button you see that the notifications comes up the doors opened and that POI is now activated in the distance so now come over to this button this will start the elevator you want to come to this door so in the top left there you must first collect the key come through this door we'll find the key now that we've got the key this door will open we've got the bridge we activate the bridge cross over step on the teleporter being teleported across final door and we've reached the end of the POI so one thing you may notice is that I have another asset pack on the marketplace called Level Design Toolkit and this interaction system is taken from that pack. So you can either get this pack as a standalone or you can get Level Design Toolkit which will include this plus much more. So I'll leave a link to that in the description below as well. And thank you for watching.